visit New Orleans because of jazz music, head straight to Frenchman Street. It's only 15 minutes walking from the French Quarter, which tends to be very crowded at night. Frenchman Street is popular with its immensely vibrant nightlife and live concerts. To enjoy it fully, just roam around and do some jazz club hopping. Our favorite one was the Spotted Cat, which was a very cozy place with some great bands. One of the things that you must do in New Orleans is trying a po' boy, which is basically a traditional sandwich, a French style bread filled with roast beef or shrimp. You can add also chicken or turkey. Today we are bringing you to a place called Domilisis, which is a special place because Anthony Burden was shooting here a documentary after Katrina in 2008. Let's go. So we have here fried shrimps. Um, Swiss cheese over here and roast beef gravy. Let's try this uh, big baby here. Mm. The pickles came from nowhere and also some spicy hot sauce. I don't taste so much Swiss cheese but the shrimps are just wonderful. And this is the classic one with the layers of uh, roast beef. Let's have this uh, poor boy. Mm. Love the roast beef. Very tender, juicy, and uh, matches so good with the uh, yellow mustard. Definitely one of my favorite poor boys here in New Orleans. Iconic French Quarter and uh, it's Bourbon Street. It gets pretty crowded during the weekends, but uh, if you want to get the feeling of New Orleans nightlife, you should experience the atmosphere at least once. Remember to look up not only for the marvelous colonial architecture, but also for the folks throwing the famous New Orleans beads to public under the balconies. Just a note, if you catch some beads, the tradition tells to take off your top. Second line, we have seen it. For everyone who loves sugar and more sugar is that part of Creole cuisine is famous pignettes. It's a fried dough covered with tons and tons of powdered sugar. Usually it's served with coffee. You can find it anywhere you walk in New Orleans, in French Quarter especially. We are going to try them in famous Café du Monde that is supposed to be also the tastiest one. It's a place near Mississippi River and close to the French Quarter. It's open 24 hours, seven days a week. Let's go. I will sacrifice. Half of sugar goes down. I cannot eat so much. Mm. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just simple dough, fried. It's really similar to a Slovak dish that we call shishki. Fresh, fluffy. I think it's not well cooked inside, like not really fried, because the dough is very thick. So I would prefer if it's fried even more, so you don't have this flavor of raw dog. Look how much sugar there is. It's too much. I think they put so much sugar just to cover some simple uh, fried dog, uh, nothing special. Jackson Square and its public park is a nice place to get some rest after strolling the city center. It's also a square where Louisiana was declared as part of United States territory in 1803. Fresh juicy raw oysters. That's what you should definitely try when in New Orleans. You can practically find fresh oysters in any pub or restaurant here. The one where we went regularly was the Cooter Browns in Uptown. And when you go on Tuesday, you'll pay half of the price. If you fancy some grilled oysters, in New Orleans they prepare them on charcoal and top them with cheese. a few places in New Orleans where you can see the city from above. One of them is the hot tin rooftop bar from where you can see downtown and the Mississippi River. To get there, take a lift to the top floor at the reception of Pont Chartrain Hotel. And our next stop is a place with a very special dish from Sicily. Yes, and it's called Mufuletta. That is basically a big, big sandwich with a lot of things like uh, salami, ham, capocollo, uh, cheese, olives, olives, olives extra olives. virgin olive oil. And now we're gonna try and see if it's like in uh, Sicily. Let's, Let's go. go. salami one layer layer number two cheese layer number three another cheese layer number four ham layer number five four oh my that, god that's olive salad that, that is basically a mix of uh, olives uh, peppers and uh, extra virgin olive oil and loads of seasoning okay my first bite of I'm not sure who invented it, but he must have been very hungry. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Because this is just an explosion of all possible Italian flavors in one single bite. Mm. Oh my god, it's amazing. Ricotta is super fresh. 
fresh. So this is the chocolate filling, ricotta with chocolate. This is pure ricotta. Let's see. Okay, yeah. What do you say? I would say it's quite similar how we do it uh, in uh, Italy. So it's really, really good. I'm surprised by the, the quality of this cannolo. And consider that this they do only here at Broccato. You will not find this cannoli anywhere in the city. Another thing that you can do in New Orleans is visiting the shops at the colonnade of the French market. Here it's full of food, souvenirs, clothes, and it's open 24 hours, 7 days a week. In New Orleans, there is a long tradition of voodoo practitioners, so don't be surprised of the amount of voodoo shops in the city. If you are curious to see one of them, we can recommend you to stop by at the Voodoo Authentica on Dumain Street, as they have very friendly staff and great choice of the gifts. enough for you in New Orleans during the summer you can just rent a bike we suggest that you head out of the center on your bike and um, explore the neighborhood called Uptown which is basically a residential area it's very easy going we lived here for two and a half months and um, it's perfect for just wandering around having a coffee much better than the city center that is quite busy This city is not only famous for jazz, but also for Creole cuisine, which is basically fusion of international cuisines like French, Spanish, but also West African, Caribbean and Native American. But also Italian. Oh, yeah. The main ingredients of this cuisine are onions, celery and green pepper. It's a cuisine based mostly on rice and seafood. Today we're gonna bring you to a restaurant called Mother's and they serve local Creole cuisine. It was founded in 1938, so it was very popular among Marines during the Second World War. Jambalaya with the pork sausages, you can see the pepper here and the tomato and the chicken. Let's try this jambalaya. Hmm. Wow. The flavor start to come after a couple of uh, chews and uh, 
you can really taste this uh, flavor of uh, tomato, the spiciness of the peppers, and uh, the, the meaty taste of the pork. It's a really great combination. Reminds me a lot of paella, but uh, the taste uh, it's uh, stronger than paella. Probably is because uh, there is a lot of uh, bell peppers and also the quality of the sausages. I love this thing. So good. Ivana's most favorite part of any meal is dessert. So here we have a bread pudding filled in a sweet gravy. Wow, very spongy, very soft. We get some fruits. This is sweet holiness. Oh man. This is very particular because the, the dough is very soft and once you dig it in with the fruits, oh there is brandy, that's why I like it. So the brandy gives it very particular flavor once you dip it in all fruits and brandy syrup. Heaven. Heaven. standing in front of one of the very important places for Italian Americans in New Orleans. It's a monument to the immigrant which was built by Franco Alessandrini in 1995 and it's to honor all the immigrants that arrived here in New Orleans to find new freedom and their new home. Do you want a ride in the oldest continuously operating streetcar line in the world? Then hop on the St. Charles line in New Orleans that has been running since 1835. Tip for you, you can buy a ticket with an app of New Orleans Public Transportation or you can purchase it when boarding, but remember that you must have the exact change of $1.25 since drivers don't give you back the change. Naturally, New Orleans as a hometown of Louis Armstrong has a statue that honors the legendary musician and actor. The park of Louis Armstrong is only a short walk from the French Quarter and once you are in the park, check out also Congo Square, which played an important role in the history of New Orleans. It used to be a place where free black people and slaves gathered for dancing, drumming or random meetings. If you want to have a break from hustle and bustle of the city or you'll feel like jogging or biking, you can do all of that in the Audubon Park that is located in the uptown of New Orleans. find hundreds of coffee shops in New Orleans, but if you want something really special, go and visit Café Rue de la Course with some amazing open layout. The place is located in a former bank and you can feel its special atmosphere from the moment you step in. They have some fabulous coffee, tea, bagels and cakes here. And these were 20 best things to do in New Orleans. If you liked the video, thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. See you next time.